Okay. It's going? If I went to a social event and there were over 200 people there, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't be able to make any friends or, or make friends with any of them because so many people are a bunch of boring, uptight, boring, mediocre, stupid assholes. <laughs> but if I went to an animal shelter, I would see about 10 cats there, and at least two of the cats would be affectionate and they would want to be with me. Now, I mentioned this in front of a therapist at a group of people with autism, and she told me that because, because I enjoy using crude sexual humor, and I use a lot of naughty words, I'm putting up walls around myself when I push people back. And the reason that I don't make friends very easily is because of my attitude. The reason that she said that is because she turned out to be a fucking cunt. I, it, it ain't my fault that most people are a bunch of pretentious, stuck-up, boring, mediocre, stupid assholes. It, it, it is what it is. And my life sucks because most people are a bunch of boring, mediocre, stupid assholes. Furthermore, this person specialized in it is supposed to understand people with autism for their weird, eccentric behavior. So she should know better, but she doesn't, which is which means this is total bogus fucking bullshit. Because so many people have marginalized me, has caused me to look up the people like Beavis and Butthead, Charles Manson, and G.G. Allen for hope and inspiration. And in case you've never heard of G.G. Allen, I get to do the G.G. Allen spiel. G.G. Allen is not only the most vulgar rock and roll star of all time, or the most, uh, or the greatest rock and roll star of all time, but he's the most vulgar rock and roll star of all time. I love your story. Thank you so much. Yes. I like yours too. I want to go to the there ladies that you There you go. <laughs> story. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. This is the one that I wanted to come to because if you're interested in haunting, you might be interested in Makes sense. All right, I'll take it first next time. All right, keep going. Okay, Gigi Allen was not only the greatest rock and roll star of all time, but he was the most vulgar rock and roll star of all time. During a concert, Gigi Allen would take off all his clothes and he would urinate it on urinate on stage. But if that on all, that's not all, he even beat off on stage. But if that's not all, he even took a shit on stage and he threw it at people in the audience. My brother once, I told my um, brother about the EGL, and he told me that is one show he would not want to have front row seats for. <laughs> now, oh, where am I? Oh yeah, I keep hoping that G.G. Allen will come back from the dead. Because most people in this world are fucking assholes, I also look up to my cat for inspiration and acceptance. But a cat can't meet all of my needs. As comparing a, 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 as caring a, comparing a cat to one of the few humans in this world who are not assholes is like comparing apples and oranges. But then I went into the drugstore many years ago, just before Halloween, and I discovered my new friend and my new haunt. They were selling a ghost there that lights up and shakes, and it goes, <laughs> I don't want to be disrespectful to my cat or anything, but the ghost, that ghost truly is my best friend, but I can only enjoy it on Halloween. On Halloween, I like to dress up as a punk rock drag queen corpse with my ghost that lights up and shakes. There are a lot of places where a lot of people were cool and they really enjoyed my ghost that lights up and shakes. And I can feel that I can connect with people like that who are cool. But however, there were some places where people popped an attitude with me um, all because of my ghost. And I was once at a club in Des Moines, Iowa, and I brought my ghost there, and people were giving me dirty looks, and this obnoxious, stuck-up piece of shit told me, I'm over it, dear in a real tone of voice, which tells me that people in Des Moines, Iowa have a stick up their ass, and for that reason, they should drop a nuclear bomb on Des Moines and get rid of it. <laughs> I had a much worse experience when I was in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, when I brought my ghost to a club. Then they had a dog at the club, and they told me that the ghost was making the dog nervous. <laughs> What 
the fuck? <laughs> and the fucking attitude they gave me, those stuck-up fucking pieces of shit. And the nightmare doesn't end there. As a few years later, they talk about haunting shit. I went to an event right here in Murderapolis, and I met someone who lives in Sioux Falls, and, and, told her, and I told her about the incident with me bringing the ghost to the club, and she was on the side of the people who tormented me because I brought my ghost to the club and I made the dog nervous and she laid a guilt, tried to lay a guilt trip on me. That fucking cunt. I know that this world has a lot of people in it who are assholes, but how the fuck could I end up running into the same asshole from Sioux Falls right here in Murderapolis several years later? They. They say that there, this is a small world, but it's also a very stupid world. I have heard even worse horror stories about people who like to go out with their ghost that lights up and shakes. A guy was on his way to a Halloween party at a college campus with his ghost that lights up and shakes and a group of social justice warrior fucks beat the shit out of him and, and, and they, because they thought that he was racist because his ghost had a white sheet on it. People are really fucking stupid. This then caused a ghostly image of Gigi Allen to appear in front of the sky, but if that's not all, he even took a shit and he started throwing it at the social justice warriors. And not only that, it stinks so bad even when the ghost took a shit from Gigi Allen. How can a ghostly image not only take a shit, but take a shit that stinks so bad? <laughs> That's because Satan causes your poop to stink. The social, the social justice warriors threw rocks at Gigi Allen, but they were too fucking stupid to realize that they were throwing rocks at a ghost. On a happier note, I... S you seem cool. On a, on a happier note, I still really enjoy Halloween because I like going out with my ghost that lights up and shakes, and most of the time, I have really, I, I have a good time. And I won't forget the time when I was looking forward to going out with my ghost that lights up and shakes, and the ghost crapped out on me and died. I tried, I was fucking pissed and upset. I tried putting new batteries in, but it still didn't work. I went from store to store, or store, store to store, and nobody was carrying it. I really needed to find a new ghost. It was a deadline in, in the most literal sense. <laughs> I found a drugstore just as they were closing on Halloween, and I got myself a new ghost. So I was able to go out with my new ghost, new friend that lights up and shakes. on there? Uh, eight minutes and 20 seconds.